I'm Linda Fothergill, a PhD student at the University of Melbourne in John Finesse's lab, where we study broad aspects of digestive physiology and nutrition. I study intraendocrine cells, which are in the lining of the stomach and intestinal tract, and contain hormones which have important roles in digestion, appetite, metabolism, and defense against disease. While they only constitute about 1% of the epithelial lining in the gastrointestinal tract, they collectively make up the largest endocrine organ in the body. When I started my PhD, traditional classification of these cells was being questioned. They had been categorized into discrete cell types, which each contain a single hormone or a specific combination of hormones. For example, I cells contain CCK, S cells contain secretin, and L cells contain GLP-1 and PYY. Enterochromaffin cells, which contain the amine 5-HT, are often classed separately from enterocrine cells. However, it is becoming apparent that there is a complex pattern of hormone co-expression in the gut. And surprisingly, some of these co-expressed hormones have been shown to be stored in separate secretory vesicles. In the current edition of endocrinology, I have greatly expanded these observations. We have shown examples of co-localization between every combination that we examined of 5-HT, CCK, secretin, ghrelin, GLP-1, and chromogranin A. For example, Secretin is expressed in about half 5-HT cells in the mouse duodenum villi and nearly 80% of CCK cells. And nearly half CCK cells contain GLP-1. We examined the co-expression of hormones at a subcellular level using super-resolution microscopy. We demonstrated that when these hormones are co-expressed, they are stored in separate secretory vesicles. This greatly expands previous observations and we can conclude that it is a general rule of enterocrine cells that hormones are stored in separate vesicles. This raises the possibility that co-expressed hormones can be released independently from individual cells. We also demonstrated that the number of vesicles containing one hormone does not correlate with the abundance of other hormones in that cell, suggesting that the transcription, processing, or release of these hormones can be differentially controlled. Additionally, we found that low levels of expression can easily fall below detection thresholds in cell level analysis. For example, small numbers of chromogranin A vesicles were observed in nearly all ghrelin cells. However, at a cell level, only 3.5% of ghrelin cells appear to contain chromogranin A. Our study has shown that enterocrine cells exhibit substantial heterogeneity, including the co-expression of hormones that were previously thought to be in separate lineages. Our work reveals substantial variability between cells and implies that analysis at a cell or population level may miss subtleties in expression patterns. Finally, we conclude that co-expressed hormones are stored in separate vesicles, which raises possibilities that these hormones could be released independently. Selectively manipulating the release of these hormones could provide therapeutic advantages, for example, in controlling appetite or metabolic functions.